So thanks, Joe, for joining us today and being part of the interview. So to begin, tell us, what's your role at ModaVista? Well, I'm the manager of the developer tools team, and I also have a hand in a lot of other projects around the company, including Montevista Linux 6. And what's your role in the development of Montevista Linux 6? For Montevista Linux 6, I'm helping to choose the open source technology we use and uh, determining how to integrate it with our product and guiding the team as well. Uh, we're using an agile process called Scrum, and I'm the Scrum leader, Scrum master. Um, so that sounds like a good lead-in. MVL6 is a new approach. How does MVL6 differ from other embedded Linux distributions out there today? Well, previous MontaVista editions, what we call the edition products, were very consistent in what they provided across all the different targets uh, it was this essentially a common distribution for all of these different targets. What we're looking to do with MVL6 to, is to have a much more flexible model so that we can have market-specific distributions that are tuned for the targets of each particular board. So it, it gives us a great deal of flexibility in what we provide for each board. We can have a wide range of capabilities. And we can also do for customers that need it or for markets where it makes sense, like carrier grid, we can still do these common sets of features across a large number of boards as well. But it gives us a bit more freedom to deliver very focused deliveries around specific needs for a particular market. One other important factor is that it is a source-driven product. It, our previous products we provided source, and many of our customers would rebuild, but others were just organized around taking binary RPMs as they were and using them without ever changing anything. Uh, you can still do that with MontaVista Linux 6. We do provide pre-built binaries, but we make it a lot easier to build the whole environment yourself and, in fact, to configure individual packages or the whole system by changing various options so that you can really have a very customized, fine-tuned distribution for your particular product. And if I understand correctly, you can create multiple builds for the same target? That's right, yes. we. You can configure the build from a single file and really set a large number of options from there. You can configure uh, compiler options and configure options either on a per package basis or for the whole system. You can choose the file system types you create and the targeting target packaging format you want to use. Uh, and, of course, you can choose which target packages you want in the build. Of course, you can add in your own source trees. You can either just change the kernel configuration that we provide, or you can actually have your own kernel tree. You can also take individual of the target packages and customize them yourselves, actually change the source code. Basically, you can, com you can customize just as much or as little as you want with the system we provide. What are some of the key problems MVL6 solves for developers? If I'm a developer, why should I take a look at MVL6? Well, it provides you a complete starting point for your target hardware, uh, uh, something that is very targeted for the markets where that hardware is used in terms of the software that is provided. And it also gives you a complete build system so that you can take total control of the software, build it yourself. It gives you, as I said, a good starting point, but you can customize it in very many ways and build what is really a custom product for your own purposes as opposed to some kind of pre-canned distribution that sets all the rules for you. But what if I've already started development? Well, we provide a lot of ways to pull open source packages into the build and customer packages as well. So you can certainly take kernel work that you've done or application work that you've done and include it into an integration platform build so that you can integrate that with the software that we provide. So there's a broad range of things that you can use from the community, from the MontaVista code, or from your own code to create as custom a system as you like. So you mentioned earlier, one of the key new pieces of technology is the integration platform. Tell us more about the role of the integration platform and its architecture. The integration platform is a full build environment that we provide. It's based on an open source tool called BitBake, 
which we have adapted into our product. But we're working very closely with the community to contribute back some of the improvements we've made as well. Uh, the BitBeg tool is normally used with a community project called Open Embedded, which is an open source embedded Linux distribution. Uh, it's designed with the ideas of being very customizable, of, of people being able to create their own custom distributions of Linux. And uh, we thought that fit in very well with the kind of environment that MontaVista customers work in, where they're, they're not really looking for a distribution that makes all the rules for them. They're looking to create their own distribution for their own product. And so we've started with this open source technology and enhanced it in a number of ways but we remain working closely with the community, so the customers have the option of bringing in software that was developed by the open embedded community and adding it to their projects within MontaVista Linux. The BitBig model is around providing recipes and patches and other changes to base open source software. So you start from the tarballs and you add patches on top of that and additional configuration files and then you configure the build. You run through the steps, you package it up for your target, and a lot of this is handled automatically for you. In a, for people who are familiar with RPM, the model of being based on archives and then patches being added and then have a configuration file that describes how to do the build is, is very similar, but Open Embedded takes over for you on many things like providing a default way to package up those files and put them on the target and allow you to choose different formats to put them uh, into your target environment in the way that makes the most sense for your hardware. Um, it, it gives you a system that allows you to configure it at almost any level and control a lot of different parts of the build. So for the people who really want to get deeply into the advanced capabilities of the system, uh, they're quite broad and deep. But for the people who just want a simple to use system that allows them to configure their distribution very easily, uh, we have tried to do a number of enhancements that makes this very simple to do. And of course, we provide them with a pre-configured and pre-built starting point that makes this very easy. So uh, I don't want anybody to be worried that they'll be overwhelmed by the complexity of this because we're working very hard to make sure that that's not an issue. But at the same time, for people who, who want to integrate their own software or even integrate things that they've done with a different build system before, it gives them quite a great deal of power to accomplish that and it's just a matter of uh, uh, getting used to this new model of building things. Uh, as I said, we're trying to stay very close to the community version in terms of what we support in recipes and things like that, and that will allow you to pull in recipes from the thousands of packages that the Open Embedded project has already created support for. We're also creating pre-configured recipes for a lot of popular software formats, so it would be very easily to include, say, a configure-based package or a kernel.org source tree. So anything that's compatible with these standard ways of doing things will be very easy to add into your project. Um, Eclipse CDT projects, as are used by DevRocket, is another example of one we'll support. And so you can include these all in your configuration along with the target packages that we provide uh, that you can just list in your configuration, basically say that you want this in your system and, and configure them very easily. And then produce a complete build environment that can pull these things either from popular source control systems or simply build them from your local system. It can even pull sources and patches from the internet if you want to do that. Um, but we are also enhancing it with the things that commercial developers need, such as the ability to control your source and to know that you have a completely contained set of source within your system so that you know that your builds are reproducible, that you're starting from a known set of sources, that it won't change on you when something out there on the internet changes. And we're also controlling the environment that the build is done in, in ways that will make sure that your host environment is not contaminating the build that you do for your target systems. So. You could say that, that we're essentially hardening and commercializing the BitBake software and the open embedded model so that it's uh, more suitable for commercial developers. So thanks very much, Joe. So to close, why should I use MVL6 rather than doing Roll Your Own or uh, using the semiconductor distribution? Well, MontaVista provides you with a qualified 
starting point that we have done full testing on and made sure that it is up to our standards. We also provide support in general for Roll Your Own. The community support can be hit and miss, obviously. Uh, the it's not the community's job to provide you support, so you may get some, you may not. Even the semiconductor vendors are not really set up to support end users on an ongoing basis. They provide their distributions largely to enable technology on their boards, but they're not really set up as a software support organization. Um, one of the things that we are doing with Monte Vista Linux 6 is wo working closely with our semiconductor partners to make sure that we include all of the important features that enable their hardware so that all of the features you're looking to the semiconductor distribution for will be included in Monte Vista Linux 6. So you're not giving up anything when you use that. But you are gaining a configured embedded setup and an organization that will stand behind it and give you the support you need to do it. And completely maintaining the ability for you to integrate things from the open source community as much as you desire. Uh, if you're someone who works with multiple architectures and multiple boards, we also provide you a consistent environment that you can use across those various target systems. Whereas you might find that a semiconductor distribution will be completely different from one vendor to another. And so you're working with a, a whole different set of tools depending on which board you're working with. So there are some advantages in, in many organizations to using a consistent model and getting a consistent and complete set of tools. And of course, we provide not only uh, command line tool chains, GCC and GDB and things like that, but our Eclipse based DevRocket environment with a full set of analysis tools and a graphical user environment for development. So you really get a complete system, a consistent set of tools, and a customer support organization to stand behind it. And those are the main advantages of using Monte Vista Linux 6. That was great. Thanks very much. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.